Yeah, you know, I was asking, could you just kind of talk us through the incident on yesterday and from start to finish on how it started and what happened and what did you see? I didn't see nothing. It wasn't no incident. We won the game. I mean, everybody, it's a lot of he say, he say out there. Ain't nothing happened. Ain't nobody get spit on. Nobody. Ain't, ain't nowhere should be nowhere on the field of play when the game going on. So I ain't answering no more questions about that. So on to the next question, please. Next one's from Nick Underhill. I guess not not specific to that play, but just in general, your style of play. Do you, do you like to kind of be a little bit of an of a agitator and get guys in their feelings? I ain't do nothing. I'm innocent. I play football. Like, it's football. Guys, get they get chippy out there. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I wouldn't be here today if, if, I, if, I, if I'm not me. So, I'm, I'm not going to change for nobody. I'm out there playing football. So, if it, if it go farther than that, I don't get into, I don't get intertwined with that. Ain't that's that has nothing to do with me. Let, let me rephrase that. Like if you if you're playing hard and you get a guy to act out, you take that as a as a win when he gets himself tossed. Ain't got nothing. To, like, ain't got nothing to do with me. If he acting out, uh, that's that's on him. Next one from Mike Triplett. DJ, we haven't talked to you since the the Michael Thomas incident. What could you say about what led to that in practice? He's still my teammate. It's still respect for him. Can't wait for him to get back so we can play football. I'm not speaking on that situation. I'm sorry. I mean, we good. I see him every day. So can't wait till we get back so we can win. Well, just to follow up with Nick then, I mean, even even dating back to college, you know, the flag at Florida State and everything, obviously you get – you have a very animated uh, style about you. Is that something Did that we the coaches talk about always try to, to – Because not trying to go right, get treatment. You know, don't, don't cross the line, but they like – having you on near the line? <laughs> I don't, if we're not talking about football, please, like, about the game, something other than this, can we, like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Well, uh, then let's let's switch to football on your season. Um, really, everybody in the secondary, it seems like um, a lot of good things, but, but also battling inconsistency. What's your review currently of the season you're having? Um, it's not a me thing. I'm all in for the team. I'm here to win, just like everybody else is. Uh, of course, I've been having a pretty good season, whatever. But my thing is improving and helping and being the best team teammate I can be, and not letting my teammates down. So that's my message right now. Next one's from Amos Morale. Yeah, obviously, uh, Marshawn got that big turnover last night. Uh. And I know that's something that he said that the defense and the secondary in particular has been focusing on trying to do. Uh, do you think that could kind of be you know, something that can maybe spark you guys to, to go on a run in, in that area? He had two. He had two of them. But, I mean, like he said, we ain't touched the ball in the back end since probably what, the first week. And we had a couple call back. But it's it's something that we like you, you got to work on in practice. You got you to gotta build a habit. You got you got to build a habit of wanting to get to the ball, put your hands on the ball, because the more you do that, it's gonna it's gonna fall your way in the game. But you gotta you gotta practice that habit. So it's I'm glad to see that we got we done broke the ice to get one in the game now. So let's see if we can keep it rolling. Next one's from Nick Underhill. Every time we, we talk to DA or AG, they're, they're talking about trying to get you guys to keep your, your eyes in the right place. What's the what's the process? Just when, when that needs to tighten up, you know, what, how do you how do you practice that? How do you guys? Improve it and get back to that fundamental. You just practice it. It come in practice. It come in repetitions. You got to keep doing it, repping it, repping it, repping it. And everybody in the world ain't going to have perfect eyes, but if you have your eyes in the right spot, at the right time on your keys, you look right, you do right, as Coach said. So that's just something you got to rep. It's a rep, repetition thing. So is that, is that constant maintenance? Like it's not like like you can have it if you get you know a little lax with it? So you can't get relaxed because the moment you get relaxed, it got to run by you. So... That's, you can't never get relaxed. You got to always be on your on your P's and Q's when you're going out there, when it comes to your eyes. Next one's from Mike Triplett. CJ, you guys will be getting your second look at the Buccaneers, but it might be different if they have Antonio Brown on the field. What, what do you think that someone like him being introduced for the first time could add to that offense? Let's play ball. Anytime, any place, let's play. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'm glad he's back. Get another shot. You know, a good player. You know, can't 
can't speak negative about it. You know, he's, you know, you see what he did at Pittsburgh, you know, so just look, go out there with a good game plan, go out there, you know, do our, do what we've been doing, play good defense and just do it and, and focus on our job and do what we got to do, not what, or what they have to do or who they have. So we just worry about us and just going out there and competing and doing our thing. I know you probably haven't gotten in a film study on Tampa Bay yet, but have you noticed just sort of from afar that they've really sort of found their rhythm in the passing game and, and been on home street? I've been watching film. I'm, I've been watching film. I mean, I'm an NFL player. I, ain't no way, reason I shouldn't be watching film. So to go to your statement, yes, I've been studying and we've been paying attention, you know, not heavily, but we know what's going on. We know what they expect. We just got to dive in a little bit more this week. Next one's from Nick Underhill. What can it do for the mentality of, of a defense, just you guys making these these plays every week, kind of late in the game and stepping up in, in those crunch time moments? That's what we're supposed to do. That's what they brought us here for. We're not here to – we're here to win. That's it. You got the best – you got the best one of the best secondaries. You know, everybody say the numbers, man. Forget the numbers. You got some of the top DBs with Malcolm, Marshawn, Janoris, Doug back there. Marcus Williams, I mean, we doing, we, we got we got a team, you know, with the linebacker core we have, the deep line that come together. We just we just worry about piecing it together and just keep it rolling, you know. Like, find a way to win. And that's all we're doing right now is find a way to win bit by bit. We're just stacking the blocks and keep going. 